Peterson Goodwin from DIYRecordingEquipment.com and today I'm going to show you how to save some money and make yourself a better tech by building your own microphone cables. Okay, So to start we need some microphone cable, some solder and a soldering iron. We need some cable clippers, an X-Acto knife, uh, XLR connectors, something pointy. We're going to use this to unwind some wire, you'll see in a minute. And a clamp or just something to help us hold things in place while we solder. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is cut the cable. So you decide how long you want your cable. I'm just going to do this one for an experiment, but standard sizes are 10 feet, 15 feet, up to 25, 50 feet. And take your wire clippers, cut your cable, okay? Next, we're going to take off this rubber coating here by bending the cable around our finger like that and very carefully making some cuts. Now we want to leave about an inch of cable for our soldering. So just go around every edge, bending it, and if you push your X-Acto knife into it, it's just going to fall apart really easily. Now we just take off the extra rubber and we're ready for our next step. Next we're going to take the bottom plastic parts of the XLR connector and we're going to put them on the ends of the cable. Now you you need to do this before you start soldering. Okay next you've got to remove the shield around your conductors. Uh, if you have a solid shield you just need to cut it off. If you've got a woven shield you need to take your pointy object and undo the shield strand by strand and wind it into your ground conductor like this. Okay? So we've got the rubber parts on, right? And we've got the wires isolated. Now we're going to strip and tin the wires. As you can see, I've stripped about a quarter of an inch or less from each of the conductors. If you're using star quad cable like I am, you've got four conductors and you need to twist the white and the blue to each other. So first, twist the white and the blue. Then we're going to twist the copper together on each one and with a little solder, we're going to tin these together. Now we're ready to solder the wires of the cable to the XLR connector. With pin 1 being ground, pin 2 being hot or white, and pin 3 being the other color, depending on your cable. I'm holding the XLR connector in place with a C-clamp. Kind of. There we go. Okay, I've stuck the ground wire in there. I'm going to heat the wire and the solder cup and flow a pretty good amount of solder into there. Hold it for a couple seconds more. And voila, we've got a good solder joint. And I'm going to repeat that for pins two and three. Okay, so we got the cable soldered to the connector. Now we're going to take the metal end of the XLR connector, slip it over the joint there, slip the strain relief in, along with the rubber part and screw the rubber part into the metal part. 
Now we have our nicely soldered, strain supported DIY mic cable. So you just got to do that for both ends and you're on your way to super affordable, super awesome mic cables and being the kind of tech, kind of engineer that everybody wants to have on the gig because if a cable goes down, they're going to turn to you. That's it. I hope your cables turned out well. If you're having any trouble, uh, you can ask me questions at DIYRecordingEquipment.com forward slash forum or just pose your questions in the comments here. Thanks for watching.